You want to become a professional Bloxburg decorator? I have the perfect tips and tricks on how to decorate your house to go from a beginner builder to a professional. Recently, I made a video on how to build the exterior of your house. So today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate the interior. Go check out that video in case you need it. The first tip or trick you need to do to become a good Bloxburg decorator, instead of just adding doors into the hallways or rooms that everyone is going to use, like the living room and the kitchen, I've been wanting my house to feel more open. So instead I use archways or door frames to give the room a more spacious feeling. My personal favorite is this arched opening, but for this, you'll be needing the scaling tool in order to resize it to the height and also to the width that you want it to be. Even if your space isn't huge for a kitchen or any other room, still make use of all of the space you have and add everything you need, such as the essentials. If you find your room too big, such as this kitchen that I'm building, you can always fit in some counters, bar stools, as I have added in the middle. Another big tip of mine is if you are doing a fireplace the lighting really counts i usually do a linen color or this beige and then end up turning it down slightly this is linen and then the white looks like that that's definitely more appealing <laughs> Now it's time for some tips regarding decorating. A lifesaver is using wall trims. If you have no idea what to add to one of your walls or your room just feels extremely empty, I've learned that wall trims are best not only just to fill up space, but also make the build look more realistic. For example, this was my dining room before, and this is how it ended up looking with the wall trims. Speaking of realistic, if you're someone who wants to become a good realistic builder, my favorite thing to use in my builds are decals especially transparent decals as they can be used for anything. I use transparent decals either for decoration and adding small details on the wall or making realistic plants indoors. Although they may seem tricky, they are really easy. In order to make a realistic looking plant in Bloxburg, all you do is go to the build section, press all, then search up the word cube, get this transparent cube and just place it wherever you want it. Now we're gonna want to get the scaling tool and resize this cube. Now search up the word transparent and press on this blocks decal. Now there's two options. The one with just one side, which is basically you see the image on this side, but not this side. But because I'm making a plant, make sure you choose the more expensive version, which you'll be able to see the image on both of the sides. Now all you're going to want to do is resize it and go out of build mode. I usually find most of my decals on Pinterest just because they're easier. You can always upload your own, but that's just my personal preference. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of different options but we're looking one specific to put inside of a vase so probably one of these i kind of like this baby blossom flower so i'm going to write down that code go back into blocksburg and now paste the id here press add and it should be there now when we go into build mode it looks a little bit small so all we have to do is go ahead and resize it to the size that we want it to be and because it's going inside of our table this is where the transparent decal comes into play where you can go ahead and move it and now for the finishing touch search up any vase you want i'm gonna choose this one and resize it so it looks a little bit more realistic and now just move the plant so it goes inside of it now this is totally up to you but i also like to add a bunch of more of these decals around the shape as you can see at least two or three of them so it gives it this 3d look instead of just that plain 2d look i have the main basics like a living room couch and then the dining room table the stairs some plants Plants. but if it still feels empty for those awkward corners you can either add mirrors chairs plants or you can even scroll through the all section look for some items that you think might fit well such as maybe this quick hat stand that i probably wouldn't even ended up searching up and put it right there but if you still find yourself stuck under the decorate section there is something called decorations and then here it has a bunch of categories like bathroom clutter frames kitchen and such on. So basically, this is a living room and a dining room. So I'm gonna just go to the clutter section and see what I can go ahead and add. Another good one is wall decor. So if you have no idea what to add to your walls, it gives you a bunch of these simple details that you can just end up placing down wherever you think might fit the best. Another cool little building hack is you see how these stairs feel like they're empty. What you can go ahead and do is get in some fences, choose whatever fence you'll want to put on your stairs and it basically just locks in to the stairs oh my goodness 
someone is yeah! running. <laughs> and then what you want to go ahead and do is also make sure to add it if you have any of these type of like floor that is hanging over an open ceiling. Because you know, you don't want to fall off of the second floor. And one last thing related to the railing is that it has this ugly gap of the flooring and the railing. So what I usually go ahead and do is get either this plain short fence or the minor stone wall and go along here just so it gives it a cleaner type of look. Then you can go ahead and color it the floor color and it should be good to go. A lot of times when using these gable roofs, unfortunately they end up glitching into your wall. So if you have this transform tool game pass, what I usually do is get a cube and end up resizing it to the width of the wall just like this and moving it all the way to the ceiling but if you don't have that game pass something else you can do is search up wooden beams and then get the large square beam press t on your keyboard and extend it the full way now all you have to do is extend it and move it like this the only thing is that you're gonna have to do multiple of these in order to cover the whole wall but at least it's better than having the roof being glitched in Another one of my favorite fillers are definitely plants. Plants just make everything look better. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm plant crazy. So make sure you add a bunch of plants in your build because it will make a big difference. Another helpful idea is making custom items with the shapes. And there are a lot of options as you could see here. If you have no idea what you want to build though, you can search up some ideas on TikTok or Pinterest and also on YouTube. I recently started building custom doors in some of my build battles and let me just say it makes a big difference structurals and wood beams can also make a big difference in decorating if you have the patience structurals can be added to like kitchen cabinets walls and more but it's definitely a step you can skip if you're just a beginner in Bloxburg. it just gives it that extra dimension I know I spoke about decals before, but I just want to enforce their importance. Even if you're not using transparent decals specifically, use them all over your walls wherever you find that the wall might feel empty. And then later on, when you get out of build mode, the images on your decals can definitely transform the vibe of your whole house. Instead of using low quality decals of like a random dog you find, maybe you can search up on Bloxburg decal category for something more realistic, such as aesthetic dog or modern painting or on Honestly, just use Pinterest. Another thing that I want to mention is that I usually use these decals in order to put up Bloxburg mirror decals just because they look more realistic than the regular Bloxburg mirrors. So make sure you find a decal you like, use the transparent decal, and there you go. This looks 10 times better than this. Lighting in your build seems like a very small detail, but it can really impact how your build looks. It depends on the type of vibe you're going for, but my go-to natural color is usually cloudy gray or this flint color but i usually sometimes use the color wheel in order to make the brightness either up more or less strong here is the flint color lighting compared to an institutional white color i don't know about you but i kind of like the flint one better for anyone who wonders how lighting on the second floor works because as you can see here placing down this sleek ceiling light makes it floating so what you can go ahead and do is look Look inside the lighting section and although this might be more expensive it's definitely worth it you want to get something that will be able to come all the way down to the second floor so let's go ahead and place this and then use the adjustment tool in order to extend it this way you'll get lighting from the first floor and also going up into the second one transparent decals can also be useful for putting in custom carpets and i think it does do a big difference compared to the normal blocks carpets but once again to find those decals for them all you have to do is search up Bloxburg carpet decal and go ahead and find one that you think might fit with the style you're looking for and now for this last step you're fully on your own which is going ahead and decorating the rest of your house don't worry I know you can do it and if you get stuck on say the living room it never hurts to search up some more interior inspiration pictures of the style you're building in just in case you're curious this is how my house ended ended up turning out here is my dining room space i have probably my favorite part of the build which is the living room i'm obsessed with this open high ceiling back here is the laundry room with the ironing board on the other side is the actual laundry machines and then if you go across
across here, this is probably my second favorite room of the house, which is the kitchen. And it even has a bar area sitting in case you just don't want to sit at the dining room table. And now here is the first bathroom out of the two inside of the house. If I go up these stairs, it brings us onto the second room. We have a tiny cubby corner over here with just like a sitting chair. Inside here is our very first bedroom, which is probably a teen bedroom with a single bed. It also has access to their very own private bathroom. And then if we continue on to these double doors, it brings us onto the master bedroom, which has the master bed. We have some wardrobe, a desk area, and also a couch. And then finally, inside here is the actual garage, and this door leads onto the kitchen. Make sure to subscribe if you found this helpful and comment any other useful tips you may have.